The 24th gift is truly magical and contains the secret to genius. Genius is far more than lateral thinking. It is the ability to make quantum leaps. Jinky 24 with the shadow of addiction and the city of silence and it's the path of invention. My wisdom story. I was a sensitive boy with an insatiably curious mind, with a deep love of logic and learning. My parents encouraged me to study everything from math to chemistry to astrophysics. My unusual gifts for predicting patterns and solving problems were discovered by my professor and eventually the world. By the time I was a young adult, many people counted on my mind to answer some of the most difficult questions about our shared future. As the pressure amped up, there was less room for error, for feelings, free time or the present moment. Once I was working on a problem and my mind spun around and round. My body got tight and I started to panic. I was frozen, not knowing how to cope with the awful sense of failure and emptiness I felt. I grabbed a glass of wine, which helped my mind and body to relax. And mysteriously, the breakthrough I'd been waiting for spontaneously appeared. After that, any time I couldn't solve a problem or felt anxious, I drank. The bigger the problem, the more I drank. It took a deep depression and several crises for me to recognize my addiction and accept the truth. There was no escape, nowhere to go. Nothing in the outside world could ever end the pain, anxiety and emptiness I was so desperately trying to avoid. So I turned the intelligence of my mind inward. I used my mind to watch itself and I got so good at recognizing its patterns and repetitive loops that just naturally they began to loosen their hold. Whenever I bumped against my ignorance, suffering or an unknown, instead of pushing against it or numbing down, I dropped in. Now I think in spirals, not loops. I welcome the unknown, rejoice in life's mysteries and I have come to cherish creative invention and innovation above solving problems. Although my knack for solving problems continues to expand, my most creative moments and breakthrough insights often happen when I'm relaxing, dreaming or doing nothing at all. I'm constantly surprised by how art, music, philosophy, mythology and psychology relate to all that I do. My gift to you. I am here to tell you that addiction is not only about what you do, but how you think. And especially how you think during those moments in your life where you bump against the unknown, your own ignorance, a deafening silence and an inner emptiness. There are whole worlds of possibility in the space between thoughts, sounds, even between our impulses and cravings. One of the most difficult yet most rewarding things you can do in life is to embrace those gaps in your awareness. Don't push your anxiety away. Don't fill in those holes. As you make peace with emptiness and befriend uncertainty, your talent for invention, creative thinking and living will flourish. And now, the questions you can ask yourself to deepen your contemplation. How do you cope with moments of emptiness or anxiety? What role has addiction played in your life? Have you used substances, behaviors or activities to numb yourself or fill a hole? Today, pay attention to an arising feeling of emptiness. Before reaching for that cookie, cup of coffee, glass of beer or the television remote, phone or computer, take a three minute pause to breathe and see what happens. Where in your life do you feel innovative? Is there something new that wants to be born in you? Find one simple way to cultivate more inner and outer silence in your life. That's it. Much love and happy innovation.